Welcome to Cooking Space, a place where mindfulness and being present meets food and music. A place to chill out, relax, enjoy, get connected, and make something delicious. Today we're making paella and my good friend Jonathan Harris from La Tienda was nice enough to send me a paella kit. And this kit is just awesome. It's got the essentials that I need for my paella. I have a good quality extra virgin olive oil, some cauliflower rice, some piquillo peppers, a little bit of smoked paprika, and saffron. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you an inspiration that I had uh, as, a, as a young chef, young cook. I went to cook in Spain. I learned from some of the best Spanish cooks. They would actually make paella every day for staff meal. So I was able to get inspired by it. I've cooked it for so many years. I'm really happy to be sharing this recipe. So what I love about this paella is I'm gonna grill the chicken. And what's that gonna do? It's gonna just add an extra bit of flavor. I have a whole cut up chicken and uh, my son happens to love wings. So I add a few extra chicken wings in there as well. And I have what's called a wet adobo, a wet marinade, which is uh, cider vinegar, chipotle, cumin, garlic. I'm just gonna kind of wet these chicken parts down. And you could let this marinate for up to a day, you know, or as, or as little as an hour. The longer it goes in there, the more you're gonna be able to get some of that great flavor. A little bit of smoked paprika is gonna be added to this. Good amount of black pepper. So now we're ready, pretty much ready to throw these on the grill. Let's do it. And we're gonna sear these. And this is a really beautiful piece of equipment here uh, from Wolf. It's a grill that's built right into this range. Pretty awesome to have this power at our disposal. Perfect. So while our chicken is grilling, getting some nice marks on it, we're cooking it up a little bit more. I'm also uh, basting a little bit. So I have some of the marinade. I like to keep basting uh, protein when it's on the grill just to keep it like juicy, don't let it dry out. So our paella pan is here, it's getting hot. Start by getting some olive oil in the pan here. Add our aromatics, our sofrito, garlic, onions, some sweet peppers. Get that working real nice. I have a little bit of chorizo I'm gonna put in here as well. For this particular paella, I'm specking a more of a, a Mexican style chorizo. It's a little more chunky. Ba this is our base for our paella. The chorizo, the aromatics. Go keep an eye on my chicken over here. It's looking good. I'm not gonna cook it all the way through. I'm gonna let it, it's still gonna take some time in the oven. Again, a good basis for flavor right here. So we have some peas, some black olives. I have some mussels here as well that I'm gonna pour in. While this is all going, I'm gonna open up my cauliflower rice. It's a short grain rice, uh, traditional in paella making. Don't be afraid to add a little more olive oil to this. I like to toast my rice at this point. I'm gonna throw some of that cauliflower rice in there. That's a good amount. I have some mussels I'm gonna add into this. A few of those. Up. Time to add the broth, saffron broth. Here we go, guys. Can you hear it kind of sizzle? This is about a quart of broth. It's usually about two to one rice to broth. I have my piquillo peppers in here. Fresh peas as well. A few olives. So what'll happen now is I'll let this come up to a simmer on the stove. All right guys, uh, so our paella, our, our grilled chicken is on there. The uh, 
broth is simmering, it's kind of cooking the rice. At this point now, what I like to do is cover it with a little bit of foil and I'll stick this in the oven for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes, just so that, so that rice is nice and tender. Uh, I'll cook it at, at about 375. The one thing I learned about paella in Spain was the fact that they had two other garnishes with it, which was typically toasted bread and aioli. And both of those things offer a little bit of texture, a little bit of creaminess, and really match up well with the paella. I'm gonna make uh, just some toast points. So I have a little bit of baguette here, and I'm just gonna coat with some olive oil. I'm just gonna toast these on our, our flat top here. Just so they're nice and toasted on both sides. This is gonna be kind of the, the big reveal. Oh, that looks just beautiful. So for our soaker out, what we're looking for is a crispy edge on the bottom. The rice starts to develop this nice crispy edge from, the, from a little bit of the oil, the uh, chorizo. So that might take a couple of minutes. While that's working, you know, I love these uh, toast points. Uh, we made a saffron aioli. The recipe for the saffron aioli will be included in the link. So we'll just put a few of these nice saffron toast points right along our paella. And these really just create a little bit of texture and crunch when you're having this paella. I also have what we like to call lemon petals. And they're right over here. So just, I like to put a few of these little lemon petals on. I like to squeeze a little lemon over this guy as well. Just to up the acidity. And sometimes I'll just check the, check the side of it to see how it's looking. See if I got my soaker out working. Just about there. Hmm. What you're looking for is a creamy texture from the rice a little of the crispy edges and the sokara. You hear that crackle? That's the sound of the sokara. That's the sound of the rice getting crisp on the outside. That's exactly what you're looking for. I could see it right here, that little crispy edge. That's what you want. I'm gonna shut this off now. We're gonna finish it with a few watercress leaves, just kind of right in there. Just give it a little, like, a little bit of lightness and freshness to it. A little more our, of our delicious extra virgin olive oil right around. A little bit of smoked paprika. Just a little sprinkle of that. And you have the makings of a delicious meal. I'm gonna go ahead and serve some to myself. Oh yeah. See that, that steam? That's exactly what you're looking for. get one of these toast points here. Now here's how I eat it. Take a little of the bread, take a little of the rice, and you make that perfect rice, double starch, double carb combo. It's pretty, pretty hard to beat. Mmm. Right on. If I do say so myself, this is right on. This is good. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Cooking Space again. It was my pleasure being here and cooking for you today. A big shout out and thank you to our sponsors, Sub-Zero Wolf and Cove for lending us their cooking space and to La Tienda for shipping us this amazing paella kit in which we were able to use some of their goods from their artisanal uh, Spanish winemakers and tastemakers. The olive oil, the piquillos, all very delicious. The Calasbar rice. Thank you, La Tienda. We want to thank all of our media sponsors as well. And I want to remind everybody, a portion of all of our sponsorship dollars go to the Garces Foundation, a philanthropic organization located right here in Philadelphia. Click on a link in the description for the full recipe. There you'll get all the ingredients, all the techniques, get a little more detail on what we're doing here today. Buen provecho.